Hey comic book fam, this is Russ Bright, Sensei from Mill Geek Comics, bringing you your Tuesday picks for July 30th, 2019. It has been a crazy week and lots of good books coming in, but without further ado, Batman Who Laughs is finally wrapping up. This is issue number seven, and it was originally solicited as a six-issue miniseries, and they decided to add an extra issue. This is super cool because this is a jock cover that is definitely an homage to Jack Nicholson's character in The Shining. Here's Johnny. We also have this fantastic David Finch cover. These are astounding and again it's just great to see Batman fighting the Batman who laughs on this. It's nice to see how this wraps up and I am excited for more of this character. More in the Bat universe. Oh my gosh. We have a black label this time. We have Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo doing Batman last night on Earth. Well, we were super excited about this when they un announced it last year, and now we're at the point where we're finally seeing issue number two. This Bane cover is very, very cool, and <sighs> I like this cover, but I would like it a whole lot more if it wasn't John Romita Jr. The problem I have with it is it's a fantastic idea, a fantastic concept, and I really do like seeing what they've done with the Joker here, but again, the lack of detail just looks lazy. I'm not a fan of John Romita Jr. So while I think this is a cool cover art, they miss an opportunity not getting someone who's a little bit more detail-oriented for an artist. So for my money, pick up the Capullo one. Death's Head. Oh my god. So Death's Head originally showed up in Transformers 113, the UK edition. And uh, he's a British character. Uh, kind of a robot bounty hunter type thing. Fits in the universe with like Judge Dredd and some of those other Boland-esque type characters. Well, Death's Head is back. I don't really know what to expect. I don't really know where they're going with this, but I was a massive fan of his stuff in the early to mid 90s. And I think this is just kind of a fun nostalgic throwback. So it's good to see Marvel giving a new opportunity to someone who is a tried and true character, a little reminiscent of Lobo for DC. So let's see where Death Head goes. And last, but not least, you were expecting this. We all knew it was going to happen. And quite honestly, the abuzz about TMNT number 96 has been massive. So this is going to be first appearance, first full appearance of Jenica as a turtle. And these books are already pre-selling for a ton of money. Cover A, cover B, Kevin Eastman cover, and the retailer incentive. We're seeing pairs of these go right now, both covers, for $20 to $25 on eBay. We're seeing the variant cover going around $50 on eBay, and we're seeing sets of all three for about $70. It's crazy how much this spiked, and I can assure the people that are box customers of mine, if you ordered this by Monday, this last Monday, 48 hours ago, you have a copy in your box at cover price. If you'd like me to give you a guarantee like that, you should sign up for a box at my shop, through our Patreon, which is patreon.com forward slash millgeekcomics. I will put the link in the bio down below. This is the way to guarantee that you are not going to miss out on hot comics. That being said, this book is going to have major, major buzz about it, and I don't know about long term, but this book is hot, and if you could find them out in the wild, go grab them. I hope you have a happy week, and have fun hunting. Geek responsibly!